everybody, Candice here with Greener Farms DIY. Today I'm going to take you through just the general steps on how you're going to sew out one of the learning wheels that are on shop.greenerfarmsdiy.com. They all follow the exact same logic, so just understanding the basic steps is going to be key in being successful in stitching this in the hoop design out. So the first thing that you want to do is pull your design up on your computer. If your hoop is sized a little bit differently, you can go down slightly, and I'm talking slightly like a tenth of an inch in either direction to make it fit your hoop if you have a very specific hoop you're putting it in. Um, the first step you're going to see is going to be an outline. That outline is just letting you know where to put your fabric. And then if we go on to the next, you're going to see another outline. That outline is the tack down. Then it's going to go through all the different design elements that it's going to stitch. And then finally, you're going to get to the satin stitch. You want to stop your machine before the um, satin stitch if you want the satin to catch the backing fabric. I actually put the backing fabric on with the final um, double run stitch. But if you want that in there, you're going to want to put your backing fabric uh, before the satin stitch. This is also a good time to trim up all of your raw edges. Um, I like to actually trim it with a pinking shear, so I like to see those raw edges. Um, but I'm going to take you through all the steps with my machine. And just you can watch it in fast forward as it's stitching out and watch what I'm doing and how I'm reverse hooping. So I hope this helps you guys as you're stitching the learning wheels on shop.greenroofarmsdiy.com. And we have a great website special going on right now. If you join the Facebook group, there's always coupons in there as well. Thanks so much. And now enjoy the video. At this step, we're going to go ahead and just simply lay our felt down inside, making sure that we're covering up all of our sew lines. This is the placement stitch. Right now it's going to go into all the design elements that are going to stitch out. We're going to go ahead and fast forward this portion of the video.
All right, we're at the next step, and this is what I like to call reverse, reverse floating or reverse hooping. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to take another piece of felt, and we're going to just cover up that raw or that uh, stitching, and then we're going to tape this down in place, and we're going to allow the satin to stitch all the way around, which is going to cover this. Now you can do the satin stitch right now and then do this step next, but I actually like seeing the, um, the stitching on the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and go this route and all we're doing is we're just taping it. So that way it stays nice and secure when we go to flip it back around. And now we're going to put it back in the arms, just like that, and then we're going to start it. All right, now we're at our final step, which is just a basic outline. And this is another time that you could actually close up the back side of this learning wheel toy. And like I said, I like to do mine um, back when this before the satin stitch, so that way everything catches in here. So if you did this step already and you, you caught everything um, with the satin stitch, you actually don't need to do the final step. So now all I need to do is I need to take it out of the hoop and I need to trim it. All right, now we're going to move on to the little pieces that are going to match our toy front. And all we do is we hoop our stabilizer and then we take a piece of our same matching felt or if you wanted to use white, you know, just whatever you want to use. We put that felt down in there and then we go ahead and start the design sequence. Now at the very end of all the colors, there is an outline. That outline is to allow you to reverse float or reverse hoop a sheet of felt to close up the back side of the stitching if you want to close up the back side of the stitching.
right, we're all done stitching this out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over like we did the other piece. And we are going to tape in place our felt, which is going to be on the back side. So that way it covers up all the stitching and the stabilizer. So I'm just going to tape this down. So when I flip it back around, it stays in place. Now the outline is going to stitch all the way around and I'm just choosing a nice white to go around all of them. And while that's stitching out, I'll just show you kind of how this turned out. So it turns out really cute. The back side's all closed off. And all you're going to do is you're going to finish it off by stitching that out and cutting the pieces. with those lovely music tones we are all done we're gonna go ahead and take this out of the hoop just like that now notice all the back side is closed up so we don't see any of that um, unsightly stitching everything's nice and trim in there so all you're gonna do is you're gonna use your scissors and you're gonna start cutting each of these pieces out making sure you don't hit any of your embroidery as you go around and start trimming your pieces. Once you're done, these pieces will fit down on the learning wheel toy, and so it makes a really nice color association, you know, for the kiddos. If you stitch all 12 months, they each have different shapes. And so this also is for cognitive processing and allows people to take the shapes and match them up with the right month. All right. Thank you so much for being a part of the Green Roof Farms DIY Facebook group and for su subscribing to this channel. I hope this tutorial helps you make your in the hoop learning toy that's on shop.greenroofarmsdiy. Thanks so much.